All right, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. And today we're gonna be taking a look at the brand new 2021 Limax Carnival of Carnage. Let's get into it. Okay, so the Carnival of Carnage. This one is so cool and there's so much color in it. I just love it already. So let's dive right in. It was released in 2021 and it has a Limax slash Michael SKU number of 15727. Some dimensions for you. It is 11.61 inches high, 5.39 inches wide, and 5.12 inches deep. So this thing is really tall, like really tall. And it is the shape of it, like that, that, that tall rectangle kind of square, perfect for this piece. It just, it, it is. The Carnival of Carnage is, is like a really spooky, creepy carnival all in one. All right. Product type is lighted building, and not lighted building in the sense of the classic light bulb. It is gonna be in the LED realm, so super cool and really creative. All right, it is made of a poly resin, and it has a power supply, which is gonna be our standard, 4.5 volts DC. Now, this draws about 61 milliamps, so you could probably use it on your multi-adapters and be okay. Just don't put anything else too heavy on it. Um, not that it's a big, big pool, but it can definitely add up if you have too many things going. Oh, something on the note of the power I wanted to let you guys know, uh, the plug-in for this is going to be on the bottom. So it's interesting because they actually cut out a little piece of the base so your wires could come out seamlessly. And it's cool because, you know, for a lot of us, you know, that try to get the wires as flat as we possibly can. But, you know, there's always that little bend at the end where you got to kind of go up the house to plug it in. This one isn't like that. It plugs in smoothly at the bottom, sits in beautifully, doesn't cause it to rock or anything like that. It just hides away wonderfully. So that was a really good touch. All right, uh, the adapter is included, and it has a standard on and off push push switch, so I'll try to get that up on the screen for you now. And the price tag, $89.99. Coupon, coupon, coupons, people. Yes, coupons, use them if you got them. Use your vouchers if you got them. Be signed up for that rewards program if you're buying them for Michaels, which is where this one came from. So, you know, $89.99, but totally cool, and with your coupons, totally worth it. All right. So that covers kind of the, the main details here. So let's dive right in. We're gonna start on the top and work our way down. All right, so included in your package, aside from the adapter is gonna be a little bag that has these two little flags, a red and green one. They just pop right in. They have a really nice little square base that just pops in and holds pretty snug. So that's really nice. And then moving right down, we have immediately the carnival theme. I mean, when you look at this, it just speaks carnival from the top to the bottom. Okay, so the lighting. You look at this LEDs going around and around on top here. The, the blue and red was perfect and it plays nicely off the red and black stripes of the, you know, tent style top, if you will. You know, you gotta have that big top kind of feel. So good color choice on that. I like the contrast. All right, moving down. We have some carnival games happening immediately. You know, they have the wheel in there. We have the guy, you know, hosting the game. And there is some other ones. Let me see if I can pull you around on the side here. Sorry, I'm doing this one-handed. Uh, so we have some, you know, clowns hanging out there. I mean, there's definitely something has gone wrong on, you know, here uh, in this carnival. It's a spooky carnival. You know, clearly something's not quite right. But that's why it's perfect for spooky town, right? Because everything should be spooky and creepy and that's what you're going to get here. Something is not right here, right? These people are, something is just off. All right. Moving down, we have like those little candy corns, which is a nice touch. It, it kind of brings a smile to your face. And the fact that it's a carnival and they kind of added in the pumpkins and the candy corn was just a beautiful touch. All right, moving down here, right above the sign, you're gonna notice this cool little hat. I like it, it was a good choice. Now, the Carnival of Carnage, the sign. Oh, it is beautiful, the Carnival of Carnage. Carnage Tower, and it is a tower. We talked about that size already. It is a tower, my gosh. Beautiful sign, really cool font, and I think if you shined like those little, you know, black light spotlights on that sign, it might play off that green outline pretty well. Okay, 
Moving down, we have, of course, some more LEDs going around the middle there. You can see it on the tent top there and a little bit right above the sign. So again, they, they were consistent with, you know, from top to bottom, every inch of this thing says Carnival. Really, really well thought out. All right, we have now down here another sign if it will focus. This focus is going to be the end of me. There it is. Okay, shoot a clown. That is creepy. I, I Look, you know, um, clowns can be very scary. I happen to be a big fan of the circus and carnivals and things like that, but I know that there is very creepy clowns out there, and they're very common kind of in the haunted house world and things like that. So, you know, it's a shooting game. I think it would have been cool, you know, to see some movement in there, some animation, you know, or had the heads, you know, been on a belt and kind of gone around with some cool sound would have been nice. But guys, this one is cool. And for what it is, you know, you put this in your carnival kind of style stuff, it's going to fit in beautifully. I mean, it really is because there's so much to see here. I mean, they even got the prizes hanging on each side of the window there. You know, I mean, come on. They really thought this carnival out. You know what it feels like? Here you go. It feels to me like they took the idea of a carnival, everything you would see at a carnival, games, food, you know, I mean, just everything, tent tops, whatever it is, and they packed it in one. I mean, this is a, a one knockout punch. It really is. I mean, just wow. That's, that's, I mean, when I first pulled this out of the box and plugged it in, my first thought was, it really was, it was wow. I mean, this thing is just incredible. Now, look at look at all this detail down here that they, I mean, come on, you got signs, you got some more candy corns, pumpkins. They even went as far as like putting like the little guns there in front, you know, cause you're shooting the clown. Um, all right, let's take a look at the sides here. There's some more, I mean, guys, detail, detail, detail. It's everywhere, you know? And let me see if I can bring you around here. I'm sorry I'm doing it one-handed. I mean, it's so cool. They got like the Enter If You Dare, the Fun House. I mean, it literally is packed with opportunity. It is, it, you wanna come and have a good time somewhere, this would be the place to go because there is something for everybody here. The, the opportunity is endless with this piece. So it was just for what it is. And the, you know, putting this in your village, I think it would be a, a, really a showstopper. And I know, you know, carnivals and, and all that kind of stuff, but really, guys, it's fantastic. I mean, this thing is just loaded. Even on the back, they didn't cut any corners. You know, look at all the signs and the windows, and it's just beautiful. The pumpkins, they even got the wheel on the back. I mean, it's just from top to bottom. You know, I know there's been some other clown pieces in the past. This one is killer. It really is. And, you know, you can shoot a clown while you're here. You know, for those of you scared of clowns, I mean, there you go. It's a cool game. You know, I, I really, really like this piece. I think if you're looking to add more of that carnival clown feel, this would be a great option for you. You know, and the lighting is great. And I like that, you know, for a lighted building, they didn't just, you know, put a light in the back. They went the LED realm. And I thought that was a beautiful touch. You know, could it have had sound? Yeah. Could it have had some animation? Sure. There was definitely some opportunity and this thing could have went even further further but all things considered you know they have to have different level of buildings in every season i think for what it is they did a really good job they executed it beautifully so i think you'll like this i absolutely love it i love the height the shape and really the colors i'm super into colors you guys know that lighting is everything for me i think it's it's kind of unique to be honest with you because I don't know of many other pieces that kind of you know fall in this kind of shape I mean I know the theme is is in some other pieces but you mix the theme with the shape and the colors it's pretty unique so I think you guys will really like it I'm going to go ahead and hit the lights here in a moment so you can see it at, in the evening time here but great great piece if you're looking to spice up your village thank you guys as always for continuing to support my channel I thank you thank you thank you and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next one.